Hi, I'm Darren, and in this video, we're going to be looking at how you can take videos you've made in other products, such as WeVideo or Screencastify, and take them into Capwing to be able to make your own subtitles. And Capwing will automatically do that for you, giving you the opportunity to just fine tune or even completely change the language to produce a bilingual product at the end of it. So let's take a look. So here I am on the Capwin homepage, and I'm just gonna go up here to sign in. And if you haven't already done so, you just create an account. I'm gonna sign in with Google and choose the account that I want to use. And we can see here that we've got the option to add a project. So I'm going to add a new project, but I can equally upload. So I can just go to upload, click here, to find a video that I'd like to produce um, subtitles for. So I think I've got a few hanging around here that I might be able to use. So I'm gonna go with this one here. The, yep, that one there. So this is an intro for the global GEG community. So we're gonna upload that first of all. So it takes a few seconds just to upload. And now I can go in and edit, okay? So the process is gonna complete itself and it's completely watermark free, which is fantastic. And it gives you the opportunity with the free version to create videos up to seven minutes in length. So we can see the process that is the progress that it's making. Hello, Here's everyone. my video. Welcome. I'm just going to mute that for the moment, and I've got the option to download it, edit it, make a copy of it, and also to embed it or to share it publicly. Okay. So I want to edit this video, so I'm going to click here to edit, and we can see up the top here, amongst other things, I've got the option for subtitles. So I'm going to click subtitles and you can see here I can either add them manually or I can auto generate okay as well as uploading so I'm gonna get um, Capwing to auto generate my subtitles and I'm going to choose the language um, so we are Great Britain uh, and get it to auto generate those subtitles for me so it takes a few seconds just to process it. And as it says here, you know, this is still a beta product. So if it's not 100% accurate, you know, after adding the subtitles, we can edit them in the editor if they're not quite what we want. So we just allow that to process. Doesn't take very long at all. Obviously that depends on the length of the video you're using. And here we can see that we've got our subtitles. So um, it's not picked up on capital letters poten potentially and things like that. So I'm just gonna go in to each line and check it and pop in a little bit of um, punctuation and things like that. Uh, so this is a global GEG broadcast and I want a capital letter on there. And if I want to, I can bold or italicize that particular aspect. So I can have it in bold or I can have it not in bold. Okay, it's entirely up to me and I can have it centralized and I can change the font size. Okay, so and this is gonna run for that period of the video. So these blue bars are the period the video is running and I've got the option here to decide where I want those to fit. So I might bring them down to the bottom or I might choose to take them to the top. It's entirely up to me. I think I actually, I'm gonna move mine to the top. So we just go up, 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 and position them at the top there. So hello everyone, welcome to this Global G broadcast. Um, and um, which will, I think that said when we recorded it, will be starting shortly. So it's not perfect, but we can play around with it. And then I remember that that would have been a full stop. And here we would have had, while we are waiting for people 
to join. Why not head into the chat and let us know where you where you are from. That should be a comma. I might bring that down to the next line. Your Twitter handle and post any questions that you like that you would like you would like answered this evening. Take this out. Uh, up there and down the bottom here I remember that this has gone a bit wrong but um, I think they said something like if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button to make sure you stay up to up to date with all of the events being organized by us at Global GEG. And then I think it said we'll be making a start in a few minutes or something like that. There was something along those lines. Okay, so now I've got my full set of subtitles. Okay. I've got them positioned where I want them, and I'm just going to click done. And there we go. And if I publish, I've got the option here to publish that particular option. It reprocesses. And within a very short space of time, we'll get that finished video. And there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't do that manually as well, and listen to the video, and then personally input the correct subtitles, or as we mentioned at the beginning, even, men even enter a completely second language so that you've got a bilingual product. It's just processing itself through, frame by frame, so it's checking that the Subtitles are appearing at the right time on screen in line with what's being said. And it's loading that final product. Hello everyone, and there we go. Welcome to this global GEG broadcast. We'll be making a start shortly. And while okay. we're waiting for everyone to arrive, why not head into the chat? When let I us know it. who you are, where you're from. When I made it, I didn't minimize the captions slightly, so I could have made those slightly smaller. I could have come in here. I could have gone to the subtitle edit and I could have changed all of that to say 14 just to make it a little bit smaller and reprocess it. I could do that if I want and then it will make another version. So I would just go through the same process again. This time around, I'm going to process the same thing, but that content will be slightly smaller. Okay? And as you can see, it doesn't take that long to do. So even if you do find that you've saved it and you've got a mistake, you can easily go back in and just put it right, reprocess, and then you can share it to social media, and you can download it and share it or upload it to whichever platform you would like. Okay? A really good device, a really good platform for being able to share with students who've got audio needs, um, for people that may be hard of hearing in general. Uh, but also for people who have got to watch maybe a video in a crowded environment, maybe for a PD video where people might be watching that in their own Hello everyone, welcome to this global GEG broadcast. So there we go, we can see the text is that much smaller, so we can embed it into a website if we wanted to, we can copy the link, we can share it socially, or we can just physically download it as an MP4. Really, really great stuff. So, why not give Capwing a try? <laughs>